let's talk a little bit about speed ramping, all right? So here's how you can adjust speed ramps. So let's go to, let's go to this cut here. And I think I'll go ahead and drag in a couple of different clips that we can modify. Now, a lot of the fight scenes have already been retimed. So let's go back to our project panel here. Let's twirl this up. And actually, maybe we'll even start with some of the instrument shots. I like some of these guitar shots and things. Yeah, just some really nice movement. All right. Maybe we'll drop this clip into this multicam cut here, just real briefly. Okay. So I'm going to mute the audio for a second. And this is the shot that we want to retime. Now, there's a couple different ways that we can do this. I'm going to show you both methods here that are going to give you more flexibility. If we simply want to just alter the speed of the shot as a one-off. In other words, we want to make it slower, we want to make it faster. The easiest way to do that is to simply select the clip and choose either Command-R, or you can also right or control click and choose Speed Duration, okay? And from within this Clip Speed Duration dialog, here's where you can adjust it. So if we wanted it to be half speed, 50%, or around, I like typically around 60%, you can just type it in there. It'll automatically adjust the duration and then you can also see that you have different ways of interpolating that motion change. Frame sampling, frame blending, and then a new method that we added last year called optical flow. Now, I'll be honest, frame sampling for me generally doesn't quite do it. Frame blending can look okay. It can sometimes be a little, a little stuttery. So let's take a look and see how it looks on this one, just for, for, as, as, a, as a quick start, all right? So we've now slowed this down 60 to 60%. And you can see it looks okay. Again, it's kind of a little, it's a little blocky. It's not quite as smooth as I'd like. Now this is also not rendered. So if we did a quick render on this, it would actually look a lot better. But what I want to show you is actually the optical flow because optical flow tends to make shots, especially like these, just look more fluid, more organic. And it's typically the kinds of slow motion that you want. So we're going to go ahead and click okay on this. And I'm simply going to Shrink this down to, let's just make this around five seconds in duration, okay? And I'm gonna grab my work area bar, and I'm going to adjust this to the duration of the clip. Now, I'm just doing this so that I can see what this looks like really in the best quality using optical flow slow motion. If I were to just play this for you now, it plays back, but again, it's, it doesn't look as smooth. I can assure you it is actually way smoother than that. So I'm gonna go up to the sequence menu here and just choose render entire work area. All right, we're done. And there you go. So check that out, right? Smooth, silky, optical flow. Not always the best choice. Sometimes one of the other options are, are gonna work better for you. Um, I typically love optical flow and I think it does a really amazing job. So that's doing just a, a, a standard static change, faster or slower. But as I mentioned at the beginning, what if you actually want to ramp the speed change, you wanna have it change over time. Maybe it starts real time and then gets slower or starts real time and then gets a lot faster. You can right click on the effects badge icon that you see here on the clip, go to time remapping speed. And now this line that you see on the clip represents the speed change. So let's go back and uh, we're gonna reset this to 100%, all right? So here it is playing in real time at its native speed. So I want it to start playing in real time, but then I want it to slow down right about there. So I'm going to take, again, hold down my command key, and I'm going to click inside the clip. And when I do that, now you're actually gonna see that you get this little, these two little icons, which you now have the ability to pull apart. And if you select them, you'll actually see, and if we drag down, Here's how we can now adjust the speed, all right? So I'm gonna drag this down, let's go to like 60%. If I click on these, you'll also have a little Bezier handle so you can adjust the ramp itself. All right, something like this. Can I have it ramp in? So it goes from real time to slow. Maybe we make it even slower. Let's add another one. Drop the speed down to say 20%. All right, just for a couple frames here. And then I'll click another one and bring it back up to 100%. Okay, this is very sort of extreme. Real time, slow, slower, real time. Okay, 
And again, if we go and zoom in here, click on these, we can pull these apart and actually adjust the ramp in and out. Maybe you want a slightly more gradual change, not just an abrupt speed change. Although abrupt speed change is kind of, kind of very stylistic today. Simply by clicking and pulling those apart, you can adjust that little ramp and you see you've got little control there to adjust that. Once again, let's just render this work area just so that we can see it in full quality, a bit more in real time. Very easy to apply these speed changes. Now, in the effects control dialog, you can also make those keyframed changes. I like to do it on the clip here. I just feel like I'm more in the content when I'm doing it that way. Here we go. Look at that. Boom, super slow. 20%. 60%, real time, 60%, 20%, real time. Now you might see a little bit of the kind of slight blending over there. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing, you know, one fifth the speed, okay? 20%. So you have a lot of options here. And I recommend, again, depending upon the shots that you're using, uh, you can always go into speed duration and change the interpolation method. For a lot of these clips, I've been testing them over the last couple of days. I think optical flow is really going to give you a beautiful, beautiful result. So that is adjusting speed ramps, speed clip and duration using optical flow, frame blending, and frame sampling uh, in this latest release of Premiere Pro.